Alright, so, hey everyone. Welcome to what was originally supposed to be a stream. But, uh, because I was stupid, I completely forgot to take the video from Twitch afterwards and save it to my computer, and it got deleted before I could do so. So I'm gonna have to record the whole game again. Um, luckily though, uh, the stream that I did, there was a lot of just faffing about with me not knowing what to do. So, um, hopefully now that I've played it and I kind of remember most of it, we can get through this. So here we go. Um, uh, last time I played I got the B ending. So, yeah. Anyway, let's begin. Raised in the Granite Orphanage, Jennifer and her friends were wanted as adopted daughters. Spooky. It happened in September. It's beautiful. Laura, hurry up! We want to be there before sunset. Miss Mary? Yes, Jennifer Connolly. From now on, what kind of place will we be living in? That's the fifth time you've asked. Don't worry, it's a very nice place. I don't doubt it. We're almost there, see? It's, it's beautiful. And very convenient too, I mean, the shops are only about 500 miles away, so... You know, it's okay. What a huge place! Yeah. What amazing dialogue. The main hall is gigantic. I gotta go get Mr. Barrows. Everyone wait here. Why is her hair like blonde in this- I'm- it, it looked brown in the intro. Alright. Okay, so... Okay. Um... So... I'm a unicorn? There we go. So let's go around and talk to everyone. I think you have to talk to everyone like twice if I remember correctly. I might be wrong about that. Hey Anne! You want to know what kind of guy Mr. Barrows is, right? I mean, it is kind of weird that someone would adopt us without ever having met us, but oh well. What's up, no face? What is it? You have no face. Is something wrong? This house makes me uneasy. What is it? It's, well, it's, fuck off. Yes, I know, this house makes you uneasy. It's great. It looks like there's a picture of a monkey back there in a suit. Alright then. What say you, Ron Weasley? I doubt how... I doubt I'll ever get used to this place. Heh. Lots paranoid. It's because she's played Clock Tower before. And... Uh, table? It's gorgeous. 
Hey. Can you go find Miss Mary? Alright. Alright, let me go then. Jesus Christ. I'm sure that I, I'm sure there was a run button. But I can't remember what it was. Probably find out soon enough though, right? Come on, something happened. Mary. She's taking a long time. Should I go find Miss Mary? No. I'll go look for her. Spoopy. Alright, let's go looking for her. But not in there, apparently. Because she doesn't want to. Oh no! The main hall! Girls? Come on, this isn't funny. All right, let's turn the let's turn the light on. God damn, these controls are sensitive. And yes, I'm playing on an emulator because I don't happen to own an SNES nor a Japanese copy of this game. This game was only released in Japan, I believe. Actually, I think it was released on the PS1 as well, but later. There's the run button. All right. So, if I remember correctly, we can't go up there because the floor just gives way and we don't want that. So we have to continue on our way over here. All right, so let's start off in here. So, if I remember correctly, you have to like inspect everything and sometimes you have to do it in a very specific order. Okay, yeah, so... Um, you climb up here... And it's a pile of trash, blah blah blah, and you get a rock. And then you go down here... Uh, wait, hold on, where's the end? There it is. Okay, so you use the rock to bash this in. Where are you going? Use the thing! Alright. I mean, to be honest, it looks big enough for her to get through anyway, so I don't, I don't know what the deal is there. It looks like a courtyard. Alright. Oh no! That was Anne! Jenny for help, Glub! Anne! H uh, help! Glub, Glub, Glub. I wish I could help, but I'm too busy standing here doing fuck all. I don't even look like I give a shit, to be honest. Here is the main enemy of the game. Alright, uh, let's see if I can remember the button for this. I think it was A. But basically, um, you have to bash the panic button when this happens. There we go. And you run away. And depending on the colour of the background where your face is, um, that's kind of like your health, but it's like a panic meter, and the redder it gets, the more fucked you are. And if it's completely red, then the panic button doesn't work, because you're too panicked to do anything, apparently. And luckily, we won't be seeing too much more of Scissor Man during the rest of the game, because he really slows things down. I mean, I know it's there to, like, obviously add challenge to the game, because otherwise what's the point if there's no enemy, but... This, as with all games like this, like, um... Go through the door. Um, the enemy's only really there to slow down the pro the progress of the game because the game without an enemy the lights are out. Where's the switch? Oh no, I need to turn the light on so I can find the switch. But yeah, oh Jesus. As with all games like this, the enemy's only there to delay you 
finding the items that you need to progress because otherwise the game could be finished in about half an hour. Now, if I remember correctly, last time when I played this on the stream there was nothing in this box, but I'm sure like there is supposed to be something in here. Okay, well, this game's gonna be a dick again. And I remember that ca that caused me quite a lot of confusion when I played this on the stream. Alright, it looks like it's broken. So yeah, as I explained in the stream, um, the stream was the first time I'd ever actually played the game, but I had seen a Let's Play of this beforehand. Because, again, I... I knew this game was only released in Japan, so I didn't think I'd be able to play it until a friend of mine sorted out this emulator for me. Okay. Creepy picture on the wall. Standard. Doesn't really have much to say about it, which is fine. And I love this picture up here. It's it's a real pinnacle of modern art. It's great. How much did that cost? That $250,000? Money well spent, I say. Yeah, the protagonist in this game is not very charismatic. It's completely dark outside. What time is it now? I don't know. Like, what a weird place to put the TV to. Like, you'd think you'd have the sofas pointing to the TV, but whatever. Alright, so in this room there are things that we need. Uh, okay, there's a thing in here that I should get. Yep, put the bottle of perfume. It smells like Miss Mary, right? Yeah, okay. You picked up the perfume, and I'm trying to select this fucking picture down here, but there we go. What is this thing? It's, a, it's commonly known as a picture. I mean, they're not exactly new. <laughs> And then this happens when you look at the thing. When you look in the mirror. It's not a very nice thing to do, really, is it? But I guess that's what you get for being vain. Okay, so... If you let the parrot out of the thing, it starts to attack you. And you have to kill it to get it to stop. If I remember correctly, uh, you don't actually even need to do this. I don't think it gives you anything, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Alright, so we need to suffocate the parrot. You know, after we compete in the world's slowest protagonist contest. I mean, goddamn. She makes people in Fatal Frame look like Usain Bolt. Alright, so we need to suffocate the parrot. Whenever we're ready. There we go. Dead. Dead parrot. And I think that's everything in this room, so let's go. Alright. And then... Let's go this way. And... Alright, well, she's decided she doesn't want to go through this door. We should really take a rest. Um, that's how you heal in this game, is you, um... You just basically, like, sit down for a bit. Uh, let's see if I can remember the button to do that, actually, because it's probably worth me doing. Maybe I just have to, like, stand there for a bit? Oh, there we go. So anyway, um, while we're resting up, uh, there's I'm going to explain where I've been for the past year. Shut the fuck up! Okay, so basically, um, I have been busy with uni stuff and college stuff and all kinds of other stuff. I have been travelling back and forth to the States, which has been taxing, um, especially financially. But I am planning on getting back onto the Let's Plays and doing all sorts of stuff in my spare time, especially since I'm at university now and I'm studying game design, so hopefully I can work on some projects and 
get some bits and pieces out. If I ever, if I do ever release anything on like Steam or whatever, I'll be sure to make a video and let you guys know in case you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, in interesting times. Do you mind? I am trying to talk here. But yeah, that's that's basically where I am at the moment. Jesus Christ, will she fuck off? She takes quite a while to heal. It's literally like the creators of this game were like, how can we make this game as long as possible? Okay, let's slow down the movement, make it take forever to heal. Alright, there we go. And I don't want to... Fuck you. I don't want to go upstairs yet. I think the reason she like gets more panicked when you run is because you make more noise when you do that, and noise I think might attract Scissor Man, I'm not sure. Alright, that door's locked. Wonderful. Alright. Go through this door here. Alright, let's turn the light on. So, in this room, you need to get. Alright, you need to get a thing from the fridge whenever she decides to get there. Okay, so you get the ham from the fridge, you know, just in case you're hungry. And if you look in here. Wait, what's in here? Alright. And then if you look in here, don't walk all the way fucking back. Come on. Alright, so if you look in here, there's something shiny in there, right? But... Oh my god. You can't possibly get what's in there now, because there are fucking- there's flies in there, right? That means you, you can't possibly reach your hand in there. I mean, James Sunderland could stick his hand in a fucking gross toilet, but you can't put your hand in a cupboard full of flies. And I'm panicked again. Great. Wonderful. So we need to get something to kill the bugs, essentially. And there's nothing I can do in here. Basically, if you get in the car, um, you can drive off, but it gets you the bad ending, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to try and get... Last time I got the B ending, and I thought I did everything that was supposed to get you the A ending, but apparently not. This time I'm going to try and get the A ending. So, let's go, actually no, let's go through this door. It might actually be locked now that I think about it. Oh no, never mind. Alright, so, what was in here? I think I heard as well that, I'm not sure if this is true, Door seems to be stuck. Okay. I'm not sure if this is true, but I have heard that the, uh, the rooms in this game sometimes change their positions. So, if I, like, forget where a room is, it might not be my fault. It might, it might be my fault, but then again, it might not be. The door's locked. Okay. Making this place pointless. That was a lovely waste of time. Alright, so I guess the only place to go now is upstairs. Come on. Would you piss off? No, go up the stairs. And I'm gonna take a quick sip of my drink, because going upstairs takes her about ten years. Alright. Nope, she's still not made it yet. You can do it.
There we go. And I don't think there's anything... No, there's nothing down there. Alright. So, let's go to the left. And this door here. Nope, locked. Alright. Go this way and check this door here. Locked. Alright, fine. Alright, so here is the point in the stream where I almost lost the will to live. So there's a key in this nest up here, alright? So I thought, okay, use the stick, right, to prod it down. But no. Now, when the bird is up there, you can't even select it, right? So I thought, okay, move the crate. But no, all she does is climb the crate and say there's nothing inside. So I was stuck here for ages thinking, like, what the fuck do I do? And it turns out, if you leave the room... So let's go in here. Sorry if you can hear doors in the background, by the way, but I'm filming this in my dorm, so... And people are very loud. But anyway, if you go in another room and you come back out, and you go over here... Bird's gone, right? So you need to examine this, leave the fucking stick alone, and then do stuff with the crate. Simple, right? Took me about a fucking hour to figure out. Bullshit. Okay, now you can get the thing. There's a key in here. Okay, so now we have a key. Now let's get back in that room that I was just in. Because... Remember that room that was full of bugs? Well, here is some insecticide. And that's not the only thing we have to get in this room. We have to get up to the other side of the shelf. But we can't, because of this thing that's in the way. And we're not tall enough to get up there. So, let's push the box. And now we can get over. I don't know who decided it was a good idea to put these shelves in the fucking way of this anyway, but there you go. What kind of clothes are these? So we picked up a black robe. And there's also some rope over here that I think we can I think we can pick this up. I don't think I actually used it during the playthrough on the stream, so I'm not sure what it does. And is that everything in here? I think it is. So let's go. So now we have the insecticide, so we can go and kill all those bugs. And we also have a key, which we will use after I've killed all the bugs. And I'm going to check my phone real quick while she climbs down the stairs because, again, she's slow as shit. She done yet? Nope, she's halfway. She's make she's getting there, though. She's making progress. I mean, ten I mean, really, she could have just, like, thrown herself from the top of the stairs, broken her leg, waited for her leg to heal, and walked again by the time it took her to climb down the fucking stairs. But whatever. 